News in the world of Aska, let's go. Sand Sailor decided today to give us a little transparency update about the next update being delayed until October 7th instead of the end of September. It's not a super long delay, but they say that they do want to keep us in the loop about what's going on and make sure it's a solid update. So let's look at how they've updated the roadmap here. This is going to be major update two. It's called Farmers and Fighters, now coming out October 7th, which is just in a couple weeks. Some really cool stuff I'm looking forward to. Big one right here is Town Militia. Upgrade the Eye of Odin, form a town guard, and rally them with a mighty smoker horn. This is a super exciting part of the update, and I'm interested to see how they implement it. We've definitely needed a way to rally people to fight whenever something's going on. I mean, right now I just have markers out around that they patrol, circling and hoping that they get there relatively soon when something attacks the village. And I'm curious too, if it's gonna be only people that are assigned like to the archery place or the training places or who all can we call to arms with this horn? Anyone assigned to a watchtower? We'll see. They do say over here on the side that a horn tower add-on is going to be included. Although in this picture, it looks like the player is blowing the horn. So we'll have to find out what the difference is between these. Does this mean that somebody can be assigned to the watchtower, a villager, and that villager can blow the horn and let us know when something is there? Because that would be super cool if it could. We're going to have new hairstyles added, which is nice. This is a super helpful one here. Seasonal crop schedules. Create automated, try again, create automated crop rotation tasks. That's really nice because it's a bit of a chore to go and have to change things every time. We're going to have steam cloud saves, which is handy. This is a super important one right here. Cave torches and more iron. Wall mounted torches and new small iron clusters. I like the wall mounted torches. It's handy, so to speak. And new small iron clusters is one of the ways they're trying to add more iron into the map because people that are playing there longer term are obviously running out of iron. Of course, you can get it from moms, but it's not as reliable, takes a long time, definitely need more iron in the map. Hopefully this will be enough to support a village. We'll see on the 7th. So looking at the features and development, of course, we have a lot of great things on the list. In this update, we're going to have the cave makeover. Maybe it'll be more than just adding iron. We'll see. And the town militia, which, of course, I will be looking at all the details of that. They said they feel pretty confident that it will be able to make it out on October 7th. And I'm planning to have some surprises for you when I cover it on that day. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Now it's time for me to jump into Aska. Until next time, happy gaming.